Okay, this actually might be the start of a series that I'm going to do. There was, today's Tuesday, and there was an estate sale, I guess estate sale, auction sale, on Saturday. And I got some stuff, uh... Uh, the place is kind of a mess right now. Some water. It's been raining like a last couple of days ago. It was for a couple of days it rained like a bastard. So I had to move a bunch of stuff. Some boxes got wet. And I had to dry the place out. So everything's kind of a mess. and let's see uh, I've got a fair amount of cassettes I gotta go through these um, I'm all the original cassettes I'm probably gonna hang on to for the time being uh, my uncle may take some we'll see uh, a few eight track tapes but I'm kind of scared to play those uh, this like this is contents I bought, I think, half the contents of that trailer, so, so I did, I bought my Atco trailer on Saturday, it's probably from the 60s, ah, uh, okay, so, yeah, I gotta go through these tapes, I've been going through a few of them, and if I can find it, ah, uh, Cassette Master ever sees any of these videos. Yeah, here it is, I think. I haven't seen one of these tapes, if I can get it out of the case, for, oh, probably since I was like nine years old or something, or, well, one that was, had one side of the label is missing, but I remember these when I was a little kid, and they were cheap, but they weren't too bad of a tape. So maybe sometime I'll try recording on this and see. But I think ever since I was like eight years old or so, well, I seen one. A kid had one in my class when I was about 13. Of one, had one of these, whatever this brand is. Amy or something, I don't know. Aim? Could be. Um, had one of these. And that's the last time I remember seeing one. But, uh, I finally found one. I just, when I was a little kid, I just thought this label looked cool. Oh yeah, and I got a good tape deck at the sale. It seems to work good. Okay, so I will go get the power and the container plugged in, and I'll show the stuff I'm hoping to get rid of today. Okay, now I'll just head over here and try to point out some of the stuff. I wish I would have took my camera with me. Oh, uh, yeah. This lamp here is going to go. Bunch of suitcases. All oh, this old this old vacuum here. I think it's an Electrolux. Uh, it had a really long cord on it, detachable one, like what the electric frying pans used. So I kept that. If it had the hose, I would keep it, but I don't have the hose. And these skis were in there. 
And, uh, I think some dishes and stuff. Some film containers. I don't know why he would have saved those. I think the dishes and stuff, yeah. I think a set of knives. Yeah, I think those came from there. This lamp. And this lamp, which I think I'm going to keep. I kind of buggered it up, though. Uh, it's just made too damn cheap. Uh, the door, this little door here, won't close anymore. I, my dad says I bent the frame, and all I did was stick my finger in there and push. I don't know how I would have, but that's what he said I did. But this I want to hang on to. It's too bad. It looks, you know, it looks kind of neat. And, but it's a piece of crap. Like, I don't know why they do that. Like, all it holds this glass in is, like, little metal clips inside. But I will keep it. I do like it, so. But it's just too bad it's a piece of junk. This old toaster. I think that's why it went out there. It doesn't stay down anymore. Uh... There it is. This suitcase with wheels I'll keep. Well, there's some red case somewhere I'm going to keep, wherever that is. It's actually a tape case. I thought it was something else. I think it's a tape case, but wherever that is, I'll keep it. Oh, another old toaster I guess my dad decided to keep. That's why it must be here. And this old boom box, which I think is probably buggered. I think it ate a tape bad and it's stuck in there. And that's why it went out there. Uh, you might be able to get it going with a night's work. If it didn't eat the tape bad enough that it fucked up something inside. Because I actually did have that happen to a deck once. Uh, let's see this little TV down here I want to hang on to it but it looks like it would have a good strong picture tube but something I don't know there's some resistors or something for some reason they're out of tolerance and it's overdriving the blue I don't know what causes that problem I'm not gonna pretend to know because I don't I'm just not as smart as some of you guys oh there's this that's, I think this thing's buggered too. And this, uh, this 8-track thing, which is in, still has, well, part of its box. It's cool. I was kind of, I was happy to get that. Okay. This could be the area where the, the trailer is going to go. Um... I thought it was an ATCO, but I think I'm wrong. My dad figures it's older than that, so he doesn't think it's an ATCO, but I guess we'll find out. This could be the area. Uh, it doesn't sound like it's final yet, but it sounds like it could be. So, it's going to go right between... the container here and my little lab and at least that's the plan for now my li our little fun lab that's where it's, it's not going to go between the buildings right here but it's going to go back here someplace it sounds like right here like it'll be between here but back here so we'll have to see what happens
Well, I don't want my parents to take out some of these trees, but yeah, it sounds like it's what's got to be done, but the parents figure they'll grow back in no time, and I hope they're right. Well, that's how it uh, looks right now. That's going to be the spot. At least that's the plan right now. Yeah, here's what's left of... I think in... Yeah, this is what's left of an Evan Rude bobcat. Probably from the late 60s. It's kind of sad what happened to it. Because it actually, when I was like six years old, it actually did run. But what happened is the clutch went out and I believe, that's if I remember correctly, the clutch failed or something and it just never got fixed and this is what happened. Kind of sad because, well, it probably could have been fixed. Probably could have been fixed. Yeah. No. Let's see if no that that sees now. This used to move freely, but not anymore. Yeah, that's what's left of an old Evan Rude bobcat. had a round headlight in front. I don't think I can get at it, but it's gone, I think. And over here is what's left of an Auroberg, if I can get at it. Yeah, this is what's left of an Auroberg. I believe Auroberg. If someone knows, please correct me if I'm wrong. But on the other side, of course, I can't tip it over, but that's, there was enough of the pinstriping left that I could see the name. And it's an Auroberg, and I'll try to get a shot. There's actually an old plate on the back from 74, if I remember correctly. I'll try to get a shot of that. Here it is. Uh, Try to get it the what's left of. You can probably tell it's treed in a bit here. Yeah, there's the plate. Kind of sad to see it kind of stuck in the dirt like that, but hopefully it will. Yeah, 74, I believe. Let's see. I believe that's what it says. looks like through the camera but there's the plate and there's where a light would have gone I think yeah well that's what's left of these not much I don't think you could ever uh, fix them so I knew a guy when I was in high school that used to work on stuff like these and these I think would be well I don't know the Evinrude maybe you could but this one I think is probably beyond restoration it's kind of sad but who knows that Evinrude could be beyond restoration too we had hopes of fixing it once, but we found out the track was separating, so that was pretty much, that pretty much ended that.